This is the second theory, and we are required to find the value of y and x. So we can quickly find the value of x from the angle we have at the center. So we can write 130 degrees is equal to 2x. Y. Angle at center is twice angle at circumference. That's one of the theorems of circle theorem. That angle here at the center is two times the angle at circumference. That's why we do something like this. Anything you write in second geometry, you write in reason. So for us to find the value of x, we divide both sides by 2. And the way we do that, we'll have that if 2 divides 130, that will give us 65 degrees at the value of x. We are looking for value of y. What do we do? You can see that these are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. This is a cyclic quadrilateral because it has four vertices. The four sides and each vertices, each vertex is resting or touching the circumference of a circle. And we call it a cyclic quadrilateral. Then, see what I'll do here. I'll write x plus y is equal to 180. Y. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. What it means that is if you if you add two of them together, they will give you go to 180 degrees. And already we have that x is 65. Now 65 plus y is equal to 180. So y alone is 180 minus 65. Y is equal to 115 degrees as our final answer so our x is 65 degrees and y is 150 degrees thank you